AITA for telling my son he overreacted to his stepdad's prank? I have been married to my husband, Dale, for four years. I gotta say that Dale has this dark sense of humor that was developed from losing his entire family. At a young age, he promised my son, Jacob, a car for his 18th birthday. He was talking about it. How he was saving for it for months. Jacob was beyond thrilled but then. When his birthday came. And Dale revealed the car. It turns out to be a toy car. He pulled out a small box told Jacob to open it. Jacob did so thinking it had the key to the new car. But it turns out to be a toy car. Jacob asked about it and Dale revealed that there was no car and that he wanted to get him a toy car from the get-go and that it was a prank. Some guests laughed but Jacob was furious. He yelled at him then rushed out of the house which caused the party to be cut short and his friends and other guests leaving. I tried to talk to Jacob after he went to his grandparents' house and said while he had the right to get upset. He overacted and shouldn't have left the party. He called Dale a liar and said that he made fun of him and humiliated him in front of friends. His grandparents sided with him and told me I should not defend what Dale did. Dale has been trying to talk with Jacob to get him to come home but he rufused. Wouldn't even and were my calls. So Dale ruined your son's 18th birthday. Such an important moment in his life in front of friends and family and then you his mother blame him for his totally justified emotions this whole story made me so sad of course he'd be disappointed and feel betrayed and humiliated yta and so is dale yta and that goes double for the sadist you married that's right he doesn't have a dark sense of humor he is a sadist who takes pleasure in humiliating others. This wasn't a prank it was a long con with the intent to hurt and humiliate your son in front of his friends and family. The worst part is you are defending the sadist and shaming the victim. I hope Dale is worth it because you likely just lost your son. Wouldn't even and were my calls. I hope it stays like that. Both of you broke his trust and your relationship with him. Dale been hyping him for months. Only for publicly humiliate him on his own birthday. In front is his friends. Who probably were also expecting the car. And family. Instead of defending your own son. You sided with the person who basically bullied him. YTA. YTA. Dale is in awe. Wow. This is not a prank. This is not dark humor. This is a grown-ass adult knowingly getting the hopes up of a child to completely crush them in front of family and friends. WTF. Some people should not be parents. YTA. Dale hyped Jacob up for months. He promised an 18-year-old a car. The ultimate gift. Jacob would have been telling his friends for months that he was getting a car. And then, in front of his friends, he opens a toy car. He would have been mortified. Whatever embarrassment you and Dale feel absolutely pales in comparison to what Jacob must be feeling. That makes Dale a massive awe. But you, dear mother, you had to know that there would be no car. You had to know that no money had been spent. That Dale wasn't car shopping. That this was all a cruel joke. And you did nothing you stood by and let him experience one of the greatest disappointments of his life on his 18th birthday so your husband could have his prank and then you doubled down by telling your son he was being unreasonable in the face of you and your husband's absolute betrayal even if you do get him a car now which he more than deserves if for compensation than anything else that will not repair the relationship you just destroyed with your son. Your son may forgive you for this. But he will never, ever forget the time his mother let her husband hurt him and then sided with him. Good luck. You'll need it. Because if I was your son I'd never forgive you. YTA. That is just mean. 
If it was a toy car in OE package and then keys in another. That's one thing. You don't promise a car for months and do something like this. Your kud was probably so heartbroken and upset, humiliated, and more. And to do it in front of everyone. That's just messed up. YTA. He spent months leading your son to believe he was getting a fantastic gift. He probably told all his friends about it. Of course he was mad and probably ashamed and hurt. 2. Defending dark humor, when in fact what they have is a mean personality doesn't make it funnier. Better. YTA. This isn't funny. This isn't a prank. This was intentionally hurtful. You and Dale both need to redefine what humor is. Because neither of you actually seem to have it. YTA and if you. A grown adult and parent. Don't get why this is wrong I don't think any of us can explain it to you. Ada. This isn't dark humor. Half my family is medical people and we embrace dark humor in private. This is just being mean and finding a way to blame the victim. You're both being terrible parents. YTA and so is Dale. A prank would be to have a toy car and then haha -ha joke here is the real car. What he did is cruel. There is no justification for being a jerk. That's just making excuses for evil people. You broke his hopes and humiliated him in front of all the people there and destroying his party. I hope your evil mind and Dale's evil mind enjoyed the laugh. Parents are not there to break promises or break their kids' hopes. YTA and Dale is not very bright. YTA your husband purposely deceived and embarrassed your son in front of family and friends. Not only were you knowledgeable about the deceit you were complicit, then when your son was clearly upset over this matter you implied directly or indirectly that he was overreacting about his feelings. Your son trusted your husband and now after this he may never trust him again and he may have lost some trust and belief in you. This makes you an asshole and could have larger implications in your family dynamic going forward. Don't use your husband's trauma to disguise the fact that he's actually an asshole. You included for going along with it. That wasn't dark humor. That was cruel and your son is never going to forget this. I don't care how dramatic that sounds. He's only 18 AMD it's true. He was embarrassed in front of his friends and family and had every right to walk out. YTA. YTA this is a cruel prank. You allowed your son to get excited knowing he would be in for a crushing disappointment. Really not sure how that is funny. YTA. Your new husband is an abusive awe. And you are his enabler. There is nothing even remotely funny there. Only the intent to hurt his stepson. Wouldn't even and were my calls. Dot. Get used to it. He kicked you two Oz out of his life. His life will be much better for it. Dale wasn't a little bit out of line. Dale left the line behind a long time ago. You'd think Dale would shower his family with love and acceptance. Because he knows firsthand how important family is. How every day counts because tomorrow isn't promised and he knows the unbelievable pain losing family. Causes. But Dale chooses to spend months planning acts he knows will deeply hurt someone's feelings. Calling them, pranks, to disguise how malicious his behavior is. Dale is choosing to bully the family that entered his life and you have chosen to help him in this. Driving away your son with unkindness. YTA. This prank was not funny. It was cruel. Dale owes your son an apology. YTA for not being upset for your son and glossing over it instead of being angry at Dale. Also, did you know about this prank? What AD? CK move by your husband. He's ta and so are you. YTA. WTF that ain't a prank lady. 
You just let your husband do such a cruel and horrible thing to your son and had the audacity to tell him he overreacted. Hope you're happy with your husband because telling you right now. You aren't gonna have a son for much longer if you continue like this. YTA. Do you not remember the Toyota, Toyota incident? Pranks aren't funny. They are cruel. It's not a joke unless everyone is laughing. Shame on you for allowing your husband to be so unkind to your son. For telling him how to react to a humiliating experience. And for expecting him to stick around after. Why would you wish you expose your child to that? If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.